what's up. Mar Heights Bellator 30, Jeremiah Riggs and Mike Flanagan. Gentlemen, if you make your way to the scales, Riggs, you'll be on the scale first. The fighter out of Vicksburg, the Mississippi. With eight professional fights, he's got one finish by TKO, two by submission. Representing Hit Squad. On the scale first, Jeremiah Riggs, official weight. 186 pounds, 186. And the second fighter to weigh in back with Bellator once again as a professional at 2-2. Two two. He's got both wins by submission. Out of Kaplan, Louisiana, now training out of Louisville. Mike Crazy Cajun Flanagan officially. 185 pounds even. So both fighters weigh in, middleweights, three five-minute rounds. I need to go out and get my bag out of that room. Yeah, I'm gonna put some shorts on. Brian Fuss. Come on, start singing again. I just picked up the camera and you quit singing. Because I heard your fucking asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had the camera when you... Oh, dude, you missed it. I was seriously sucking ass at the sauna, right? And I was just, I, you know, kind of got... You know how you get in that mood to where you're, like, out of breath, you know? Yeah. Like, we started pummeling and I started, like, moving around real quick. Just trying, you know, about the last minute and a half, trying to just really pour some sweat out. And I was like, ugh, ugh. I went in the hallway and we put a towel down. I let, you know, I was laid on the towel and putting it over me, you know, kind of keep keep my body, you know, kind of temperature rise or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> and I guess some dude in the hallway came over and I was like, oh. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and and dude, I, I, and I, I knew what was supposed to happen, but I, I was like, no, oh, certainly not going to go say nothing to nobody. And I, all of a sudden, the hall, about five people come running down the hallway. Everybody stand back. Is he all right? And I was like, I looked up and I was like, what the hell? I was like, get, get out of here, man. I'm coming up. Dude, we had a paramedic bag and everything. And then there's some, it was some weird dude, and I think he was a little slow, you know. Uh, he was like, is he okay? <laughs> Are you okay? You know what I'm saying? Something was weird. He kept on asking about people's iPods and me and Alan was in there cutting away. He couldn't take the heat. He come in there for like three seconds. He's like, are y'all friends? Y'all live together? I was like, shut the fuck up. Are y'all friends? Y'all live together. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> Is that your iPhone? I'll, I'll, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and make a motherfucker feel bad, won't it? I'm seriously gonna start doing that. I'm just gonna start sitting there like that. I'm gonna hear you. <laughs> and people will be like, what's wrong with him? Like, you know, just having a little bit of like, can you hear me talking to you? And I'm like, you do me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about me? <laughs> I'm talking. I ain't making fun of dead people. I mean, I got my best fucking friend in the world. He, he's deaf. Matt? Oh, well, Matt was a friend of mine, but no, I had a friend back home that's deaf, and we fuck around with each other all the time, so it kind of gives me a free, I think it gives you a free play at somebody. It's kind of if you had like a, I, I used to have a slow friend, me and him fucked her all the time. I'd be like, dude. <laughs> but he was cool. He was cool. So I was like, you uh, I got a lot of stupid, yeah, just a lot of weird friends. And they're probably looking at me like I'm not normal, you know, they might, they, they yeah, talk about me. You think so? No, I'm saying that I'm not that, normal. I know, that's They're what like, I'm saying. You think I'm your target? <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at you. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dip the ladle, mother. <laughs> dip the ladle.
we going to eat? Yes. What are we doing? We're about eight. I want to go get something. To eat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm look up your paintings. I don't want to be in Star Wars video. That's okay. Star Wars. How was your breakfast, Mr. Fussell? Very good. <clears throat> and you, Mr. Riggs? No comment. They weren't award winning pancakes. I don't have, have my check card. Mouthpiece. Shorts are up there. Got my shirt cup. Shorts. Bellator, bitches! <laughs> if you find yourself yep. in a hole, and Bill Collector's worried about us. <laughs> and find out what? together we can hold Congress accountable. Visit bankruptingamerica.org. Or come oh, to the world knows no way to see one. They're not freeloaders, not by a long shot. If you've paid into the social security system, all of your points. What's on your mind, Big Rig? <laughs> oh, I did it, man. When everybody counted me out, I did it. I don't give a damn what anybody says. I can say if they want to. But everybody can kiss my ass. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. I just thank all my teammates, everybody that stood behind me, my partners. My little boy, he's the inspiration. He's the one that keeps me going. Thanks to my dad. Good luck to him, man. He's overseas. Man, I just... Man. Just gotta walk by faith, you know? Not by sight. I give all my... All glory to God. And, um... Man, what else can you say? I got my hand raised. That's what we were looking for. And Mike was tough. That was good for me. You know, I, I needed that. I really needed that to dig down deep inside. And that's all I got to say, man. <laughs>